reasonably say still poses the threat of death or great bodily harm. And again, the Kappelstrom report goes into great detail that explains that in this short period of time, it often takes uh, a, a level of reaction. Um, so even, even once the threat is over, um, it takes time for that officer to assess that. In this particular case, according to the citizen witnesses that saw the majority of the incident, uh, the officer stopped firing as soon as Mr. Hamilton went to the ground. Um, so with Mr. Hamilton on the ground, the firing stops. As long as Mr. Hamilton was standing and was armed with the officer's baton and had used that against the officer already, um, he would be justified to employ force. And then you can't, you, unfortunately, you, you can't, you can't uh, uh, say that, that one shot was, was appropriate, two shots appropriate, six shots appropriate, ten shots. You just have to base it on the circumstances that the officer confronted at that time. But there is simply no standard that says, you know, what number of shots is authorized under that circumstance. It's whether or not they've stopped the threat. John, did you 